Hello everyone, the today video is about multi-select library. So first question arises that what is multi-select library? So multi-select is a bootstrap library which is used to select the multiple option from the drop down. So let me uh, show it to you that it's a drop down where you can select multiple option, right? And uh, in my case, client gave me a project where user uh, where we can assign user multiple roles. In this case, we have a test user and uh, there is a test user have no role. So let me assign the role of administrator, supervisor and uh, attendance. Okay, save this one. And okay, and uh, these two roles are attached with this test user. So this library is used to select the multiple option. So now then next question that how we can implement this in our application. So you can add this in your any application like core PHP, JavaScript, Laravel, coding data and stuff like that, right? So let's start it that how we can implement this in our project. So let me start the server here with PHP artisan serve and close this server, okay? And uh, <clears throat> let's go here and give it a refresh and yes our project is successfully working so now uh, let me show the code uh, we have a simple welcome page where a title and a simple form having a label and a select box right there is nothing any else so how you can implement make this um, multi-select for now it's a single select right so you need to follow three basic steps. First, you need to include the CSS CDNs, then you need to add a class and attribute, and then you need to add the scripts. That's it. You don't need to do anything, uh, everything going behind the scene. So let's go there and add the CSS CDN first. Okay, first we need to add the bootstrap multi-select CDN. Okay, copy this paste it here and then you need to add the bootstrap cdn bootstrap first css cdn so let me add the css cdn and then you need to add also script cdn so i will add this uh, after adding the css cdn and then you need to add this jquery at the top so it's used for ajax call and stuff like that uh, i added the these uh, three ones and now i need to go to this script tag <clears throat> and copy first the bootstrap bundle js so it's required for this library and then you need to add this bootstrap js cdn okay copy this and uh, paste it here so now our cdns are successfully attached and i will uh, attach this uh, notepad file in the description so you can get this file okay and then next step you need to call the class here so class is it's a bootstrap class which is uh, select picker okay you need to call this class uh, in this uh, select box save this one uh, and give it a refresh and yes now our multi drop down is not working why it's not working because we need to enable the multiple select so go here and add a attribute of multiple so let's give it a refresh and uh, yes now we can select multiple option right so then another thing <clears throat> now if we have multiple rules uh, 20 or 50 or, uh, or 100 right so how we can find the specific role so you can search it from this drop down so how you can enable this drop down search so let's go here and add an attribute uh, it's uh, i already added this in this uh, uh, notepad file you can this name is data live search equal true save it and give it a refresh and let me give it a refresh and uh, yes now a uh, search bar is added at the top so now you can search uh, between this uh, uh, menus user admin and uh, you can also search this moderator select this one and uh, yes now it's successfully working so we successfully implemented this in our laravel project uh, and you can add this uh, in any your project 
and that's it for this video hopefully you understood every concepts and if you are more interested to search about the laravel uh, i am creating the videos on the daily basis and uh, i'm also covering the laravel from beginner to advanced and uh, another my series is about uh, laravel from scratch to advanced so you can find the link in the description so stay connected and subscribe to the youtube channel bye bye